Did you know that Raya is only the third Disney princess to be an original? And when I say original, I mean she wasn't based off of any fairy tales or legends. The other two Disney princesses that were originals were Merida from Brave and Moana from, like I said, Moana. I also thought it was kind of curious that none of the three actually have a love interest in their movies as well. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to another edition of Movie Mistakes. And today we're going to show you a few of the mistakes that we found in... Raya and the Last Dragon. And if you wouldn't mind doing me a favor and hitting the like button now, that helps pushes the video up toward the top of the YouTube search. So I appreciate that, guys. And as usual, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. That keeps you updated of all of our up and coming videos. Ba? <laughs> Welcome to Kumandra. So Ba, who is Raya's father, shows her how to make some sort of stew or soup or something like that. But right next to the pot is an empty space. What do you think is going to appear there? Heart. We'll poison them? What? Raya, are you crazy? No, we're not going to poison anyone. This is a Disney movie. Um, anyway, a plate will be appearing there out of nowhere, if you're asking. Wait, what? Yeah, you shouldn't be surprised. Um, these mistakes happen all the time in movies, especially Disney. That's ridiculous. I, I don't know how you can think that's ridiculous, Raya. We literally have hundreds of hours of mistakes that Disney has made. Just, anyway, go with the flow, please. So during the attempted peace treaty between all the tribes, uh, Raya and Namari are sharing some food together. Notice that this bowl is sitting in between them, right in front of Raya, right? But when the camera switches over to Namari telling her sob story, we get a wide shot of the two once again, and the bowl is behind Raya where it was in front of her before. And if you take a look here, you can see that several things change positions during this shot. Really? Look, Raya, why is it so hard to believe that these movies have mistakes? Just, just be okay with it, okay? Oh. But don't worry, Raya. It gets better. We do find more mistakes. You're kidding, right? Nope, I'm not kidding. Come on, take a look at the next mistake. So Raya's father, ever since she was a little girl, has trained her to protect the dragon's heart, dragon's eye, whatever that thing is. So the orb, right? So listen to what he says to her. Raya. So knowing that she is a guardian, um, why would she say this next? Just because someone gives her a trinket, watch what she tells the, the little girl that she's playing with. Come with me, Dabla. I want to show you something. So maybe her father didn't impress upon her, meaning Raya, the importance of keeping people out of the temple. But if he had of, or had she have listened, this would not have happened. You've been very helpful. <laughs> So obviously we're going to chalk this up to a mistake that Raya makes because had she had not trusted the other little girl, all hell wouldn't have broke loose. So in this scene, the mistake is a little more continuous. Notice as after the crystal is broken, the earthquake starts and these two people are standing right next to one another. The one in the yellow is standing closer to the orb than the one in the blue. But almost instantaneously when the camera angle switches to a front view, they have switched places all of a sudden. Pretty easy mistake to point out, I think. So as Raya and her father are exiting the temple, he immediately recognizes that the things are repelled by water. They're repelled by water. Oh, hurry. So what I don't understand is right outside of the temple, Raya's father throws her into the water to save her life. But why did he just dive into the water with her? From my perspective, there's no reason for him to turn the stone when he could have just dove into the water with his daughter and save both of their lives. That just seemed unnecessary to me. And in case you were wondering, we're chalking that up as a goof. Not to mention that he would be leaving his daughter to survive this hostile world all by herself. That is a horrible decision for him to make as a father. Here we can see that Raya is now grown and she's on a quest to put the orbs back together again. Please let this be it. No, this is not going to be it, Raya. We got a few more mistakes to get to, but we'll get to it, don't worry. So as she's telling Tuk Tuk good job, one of those things pops up, surprises her, and she falls off of her friend. Notice that Tuk Tuk and all of her gear falls just behind her to the left. 
But when the camera angle switches back and forth, we can now see that Tuk Tuk and all of her gear has disappeared for some reason. I know we live in a magical world with dragons who fly and swim and whatnot, but this is a little bit ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Um, I know Raya, I just said that. So here we can see that Raya and Sishu make it to the town of Talon. So just as they arrive, she gives her a strict warning about the town. Take a listen. Yeah, Talon may look nice, but it's a hot spot for pickpockets and con artists. Lucky for me, empty pockets. So as Raya is on her way through town by herself to find a guy with a piece of the orb, she immediately gets taken by a con artist who ends up being a baby. Really? A con baby? The old baby on the corner trick, eh? Not gonna fall for that shit. Yeah, a con baby. How do you know to not fall for anything, right? That, that's just crazy. Yes, I know that most people have a soft spot in their heart for babies, especially ones that are abandoned. But by not heeding her own advice, she almost gets the pieces stolen, which is crazy in itself. Mistake? Yes. <sighs> so tell us, what did you think of Ryan and the Last Dragon? Let us know in the comment section below what was your favorite part of the movie. And as always, remember to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell now. We'll keep you updated of all of our up and coming videos. And as always, we want to thank all of our movie maniacs for hanging out with us here, and we'll see you next time.